What's going on everybody? We got another rapid disc review for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new Fission time lapse. Now, I know I'm a little late on this video. The time lapse has been out for a little while, but we got around to it. Okay, we're here. All right, calm down. I brought out today my special edition time lapse, neutron time lapse to compare. And then I also brought my own bomber distance driver. This is what I bag currently as that like get a nice little turn bomber distance driver. You guys know what it is. I got the strive here. So we're gonna be throwing these out there today, seeing how this fission time lapse flies. Pretty excited about this one. This actually feels really good. It's got a really crazy dome compared to the neutron time lapse. I'll show you guys here. So the fission one on the right, I don't know if you can really tell by the camera, but significantly more domey. It's very pop toppy. Mine's coming in at 167 grams, whereas my neutron time lapse is 174. So. This time lapse right here, I use as my beefy wind fighter headwind disc. And then, um, yeah, we'll see how this one's flying. So, we're going to throw the neutron time lapse, then we'll throw the fission, and then we'll see if, it, if that compares to the strive at all. So, let's go ahead and start it out with the neutron time lapse. This thing is a beefcake. So we're going to try to throw it out there as flat as we can. It was not flat at all, but it had a zero flip up. If you like a beefy disc, want something that gets a big skip, get you a time lapse. If you guys seen my skip ace video that I hit with a time lapse, they're they're fun to throw. They're really fun to throw. I will I will admit. All right, let's see how this fission compares. I'm gonna try to throw it the same way. That was the first throw of the day, and I don't I don't warm up, so you know how it goes. We'll get better on it as the video goes on. Ooh, actually I kind of think I threw that the same way, and it definitely flipped up and went way further than, than the uh, neutron time lapse. I like that a lot. That definitely had a bit of a flip up. You could even get them in a really lightweight. I think some of them are in like a 150 class. Definitely more room for lighter weight ones and you can get, you can get some pretty flippy ones, I bet. All right, let's check that out against the Strive real quick, just for funsy. Oh, wow. That Strive. This drive is really stable, like it just goes straight, it doesn't have a lot of turn to it, but it just seems to push further than all my other discs. Okay, so not the best throws there starting out today, but uh, you guys know how it goes. You gotta keep watching the video for a little bit. I get warmed up. I, don't, I, I should come out here and throw a couple um, before I start the video, but honestly, it's just so dang hot. I just do a couple stretches and, and I get right into it. So hopefully we'll be throwing these a little bit flatter on this next next release here. I'll probably just compare it to the Strive. Honestly, I think that's probably what it's most similar to. You guys know the Neutron time lapse is a beefcake, and uh, that Fission one definitely went a little bit further. So we're probably just going to focus on the Strive and that today and uh, see how it compares. All right, we're staying in the shade. We're going to try not to overheat the phone today. I'm going to be throwing these out there again. Uh, just try to get them flat. Maybe a little bit of turn on them. See how they do. We'll throw this Fission time lapse first. I'm gonna throw this drive. Oh God, I ripped over on that. Almost went in that basket over there. Oh, I know what it is. Sticker's still on it. I gotta go get that. I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. Well, we definitely put a little bit of turn on it. I would say. That makes sense why I'm throwing it so bad. Still got the sticker on it. Guys, make sure you go get your time lapse at flightfactorydips.com. That was Heiser, but it flipped up. Okay, I go from grip locking it. At least you could see the turn when I grip locked it a little bit, yeah? It didn't seem like it was gonna fight out very hard. I feel like the Neutron, you would have seen it start to fight out. Do what this drive can do. Heiser again, look at that flip up. Okay, at least I threw them pretty much the same, but that was also kind of the same as the first throws. So we got to do something different here. Sorry for this unhinged review we got going on so far. It's just really hot out here. And when it gets hot, things get a little crazy. I get a little crazy. Let's make sure we don't litter here. Let's get, get, the, get that, put it, in, put it in my pocket. But yeah, guys, we're still going to try to get a good Anheuser throw on this. Show you guys some turn. Hopefully don't grip lock it. And then we'll throw a forehand with it and uh, probably wrap it up from there. I think you guys can get an idea how it's throwing. It's pretty similar to my Strive, 
except the strive seems to go wave. Oh no, the strive's over there. Okay. Didn't go way further. Actually, I think the fission time lapse might have went further. So pretty interesting there. But yeah, we're gonna try to get these things on an Anheuser throw this time. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of melting right now. It's very hot out there. Out here. Where's out there? I'm I'm here. All right, we gotta be quick. Phone's overheating. Anheuser throw, here we go. Come on, why am I throwing that low? Man, that was actually a decent throw too and I threw it low. Shoot, and the phone died. Oh no, it's still going, okay, good. It's drive time. Come on now, let's get it up in the air. Threw it low, again. Oh, the wind kind of lifted it though. Man, that went really far. If I could just throw those in the air, that'd be great. Let's try again. All right guys, got the weed eater going, but it's okay. It's starting to sprinkle a little bit. It's cooling off. Feels great out here. Let's see if we can't get a better Anheuser throw here for you guys. Throw it in the air a little bit. Dude, I suck. All right. That's enough trying to throw it on Anheuser. I suck. All right, guys. I don't know if you can tell, but it is definitely raining out here. Um, I don't want to get my microphones and stuff wet. So we're going to go ahead and pack it up. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys go get your time lapse at flyfactorydisc.com. If you guys want me to do some more shots with the time lapse, let me know down in the comments. I'll be glad to show you guys how it flies on forehand and an Anheuser, but yeah, it's coming down. So we got to go. We'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.